Next, I want to chat about the Nearpod Challenge Promise. I won't read the screen to you. Basically, it started at one school in Volusia. I was able to support nine schools, and one school wanted to win a contest that you guys were running, where you said you would pay for a pizza party for the first school in my section of the district to get over 50% of their participants, or rather their teachers, using Nearpod. So this was the way that um, me and another teacher there were going to make it happen. We created 19 lessons over winter break for the K-1 students, 19 lessons for the two, the second through third, and then 19 for the fourth through fifth. She knew that if the kids liked it, then uh, the, the teachers would like it. So she and I worked together and we developed the Nearpod Challenge. It was really successful at our school. I advertised it on Twitter and I got some other eyes on it. So then other schools in my region wanted it. So then we did it again the next time for spring break, seven lessons. Well, if it's seven lessons, I can do seven kindergarten lessons, seven first grade lessons. Keep in mind, Volusia bought no content packages from Nearpod, so we were making these from scratch. Um, it was accomplishable. We got an ice cream party for the students who did the whole thing. Every day they missed from break, they would have a lesson to complete. And then it grew and it grew and it grew. And it grew to my whole region. And then it grew to my whole section of the county. And then it grew to the county. And it, you know, we got to, now I'm reading the screen to you, 1,765 winners. That doesn't include the people who just participated. From year one to the last year, we added in other products. Flipgrid was in there. Um, we put in other tools, quizzes, all kinds of just interactivity. I included teachers in the process of developing the lessons. They got to submit their favorite Nearpods, and the winner got to a t-shirt. We, I just tweaked the lessons to make them more at home friendly based on my knowledge of an, as an online learning teacher. What if the parent doesn't help them? How do we support students in their house? How do we engage them in their house? with no parental support. So those were the challenges of kind of rolling out the Nearpod challenge. We added Twitter to it. There was a hashtag. It was really, really fun. And I'm just going to show you what to expect in the next couple slides. This here is the overview. This is an example of one of the sheets. These are all copyright free images I found on Google. From after that, I had my husband begin to design the, the coloring sheets because then I knew they were copyright free. All I did was I had one representative from each school launch all 19 lessons from their account for kindergarten, for first grade, for second grade, etc. And then we would copy the, we would just edit the PowerPoint to change the, the launch codes and send it off to the copy center. It was all these moving parts. It was very, very fun. This is when I started to go like, hey, market yourself. This is a fun idea. This is the tweet showing the participation and really kind of hitting the different schools against each other. Deltona Lakes, you had the most winners. Just to let everybody know where they stood now that Nearpod Challenge was kind of a, an institution in the district. Next, this is me, an example of me on my song and dance tour. I got to go, I scheduled the, lot, the two weeks before break to go to probably eight to 10 schools. Oh, I think I did a school in the morning and a school in the afternoon, so it was probably more than that, and just talk about the challenge, give the students advice on how to win the challenge, and that face-to-face, -face, that eye contact, that meant something. They they loved it, and then I became the Nearpod lady, even though I was like supposed to be the technology lady. This is kind of a scroll of the hashtag Nearpod challenge, all the different parents posting the students participating in the Nearpod challenge. This is an example of when I began to have my husband design the sheets so that I knew they were copyright free. And then if I couldn't make it to your school, I still wanted to make it to your school. So I added a video element to it. Let's scoot you out of the way where I went over the different pluses and minuses, like don't forget to put your last name and make sure you finish the whole thing. Don't skip over any questions. Hang it up on your refrigerator. You want to try your best. Um, and that is an overview. I'm really in love with this project, and I hope you ask me tons of questions about it.